Okay, here are some practice problems that involve solution stoichiometry. There are three kinds of problems. I picked uh, one to represent each of those three right here. Uh, the first one says, how many milliliters of 0.85 molar H2SO4 will react with 125 milliliters of 1.3 molar ALOH3 aluminum hydroxide? So when you start these problems, never start with the capital M number, always start with the other numbers. That's 0.125 liters of um, ALOH3. And to get from liters to moles, you need to use this number, the molar mass. It's that one that's paired. See how they're paired together? So stick with that one. 1.3 molar means 1.3 moles in one liter. Liters will cancel out them. Then use the mole ratio to go from ALOH3 here to the sulfuric acid, H2SO4. It's a 2 to 3 ratio. So 2 moles ALOH3 will react with 3 moles of H2SO4. You want your answer back in, let's see, milliliters eventually, so liters first, but that's where this comes in. 0.85 molar means 0.85 moles per liter, but you want to cancel out moles, so put it at the bottom here. 0.85 moles in one liter, and then you want your answer in milliliters, so you might as well just tack this on here. There's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. And then when you plug it in to solve, you get 0.125 times 1.3 times 3 times 1,000 divided by 2 divided by 0.85. I got 286.7 milliliters of H2SO4. And the second problem we've got here, same reaction. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, how many milliliters of 0.85 molar sulfuric acid are necessary to produce 25 grams of water? Again, don't start with the capital M number, start with the grams. This is a mass to liters problem. So 25 grams of water, and the molar mass of water is 18 grams per mole. Then use the mole ratio from water to H2SO4. It's a 6 to 3 ratio. So 6 moles of water will give you 3 moles of H2SO4. And then the 0.85 again, we use that to get from uh, moles to liters. But moles on top here, so put your moles on bottom. So 0.85 moles in one liter. And again, we want it in milliliters, so you might as well just tack on the 1,000 milliliters in one liter. That way we don't have to do it later. And when you plug it in, you get 25 times 3 times 1,000 divided by 18 divided by 6 divided by 0.85. And I got 816, basically 817 milliliters. of H2SO4. And the last kind of problem, you've got, um, you want, start with milliliters and you want grams. So it's the last of the three. Um, so start with the 0.1 liters of H2SO4. And use this to get from liters to moles. 1.1 molar means 1.1 moles in one liter. The mole ratio, we're going from H2SO4 to ALOH3, so it's a 3 to 2 ratio. 3 moles H2SO4, it's 1 mole of ALOH3. When you're answering grams, so put the molar mass of aluminum hydroxide up here, which is, let's see, 27 plus 17 times 3, 78. 78 grams of ALOH3 in 1 mole. Notice how moles cancel moles out there. And to solve it, you just take 0.1 times 1.1 times 78 divided by 3, and I got 2.86 grams of aluminum hydroxide. So there are the three kinds of solution stoichiometry problems, and any one of those is fair game for tomorrow's test. You're going to see two different solution stoichiometry problems on tomorrow's test. Happy studying. Bye.